There's not um, really a word for, for meditation in the Pali language as such. The, the word that we use is pavana, which means cultivation. And I think it's an important point because um, if we don't really understand the way that meditation is integrated into the general spiritual cultivation, which includes our relationship to the material world, the relationship to the people around us, um, then it uh, can fail to fulfill the characteristics needed for it to be Buddhist meditation. So Buddhist meditation um, is uh, uh, consists of techniques, methods of um, developing or, or cultivating wholesome mental states and abandoning unwholesome mental states in order to provide the foundation for the development of wisdom. So ultimately wisdom cultivation um, is the goal because the Buddha taught us that whereas peaceful um, sublime mental states uh, can suppress, very successfully suppress and for long periods unwholesome mental states. It's only the faculty of wisdom that can totally uproot them. Now before that kind of foundation of clarity, peace, inner integrity um, can be sustained sufficiently for this wisdom faculty to, uh, to do its work then the cultivation of our life in the world, um, as they say, our relationship both to the material and to the social world, um, is, is very important. Uh, firstly, to create a sense of security um, and, um, uh, and harmony uh, in, the social, in the social world, and secondly, so that we are not um, troubled by uh, thoughts of remorse and, and guilt over our actions and speech. This becomes very clear when, when we start to, to meditate because uh, certain kinds of behavior and, and, and ways of speaking which generally well, we might not think were particularly blameworthy or just the way that everybody acts and speaks. Um, when you start to meditate you, uh, you become very much more sensitive um, to the, um, the quality of, of actions and mind can be considerably disturbed by things we've done or not done, things we've said or not said. And, and it's uh, again worthwhile remembering that if you're trying to meditate and you're having difficulties, and you probably will to begin with at least, um, then the problems that you're arising are not enemies and not uh, signs that you're hopeless, uh, but they are teaching you um, about particular imbalances um, or often um, a lack of uh, clear understanding of the most intelligent way to conduct your life in society.